Christmas. Christmas gift to all. So, I'm going to be showing you what I got for Christmas for my friends and family. And before we get into it, as per usual, I always say a disclaimer. I'm not trying to brag. I'm not trying to show off. I'm very grateful for all the things I got. I'm very thankful for all my friends and family who gave me gifts. And I appreciate them all so, so much. This is just for entertainment, for relaxation. Christmas themed. Um, I'm actually this year filming filming this right after. Well, it's Christmas Eve and in Finland we celebrate Christmas on Christmas Eve. And um, it's already 10 p.m. and um, everyone's kind of just now going to like bed and doing their things. So I was like, yeah, well, might as well film this now. So, because uh, usually I do it like a few weeks after Christmas, but this year I'm doing it early. But first off, I want to show you my nails because I don't get to show them. i 
I was not expecting anything like that, so it was a really cute surprise to open that up. Then my last friend who um, I exchanged gifts with, she told me that she didn't really know what to buy me because she said I'm the sort of, sort of poor person who kind of has everything and uh, it's like hard to figure out gifts for me. So instead she said, you know what? Let's just go to a store and you can pick some items um, and I'll buy them and we had a budget and I picked items within that budget and I picked two, two items both um, makeup related and also both by the same brand this is a new product
watching this all by now this has been popular for the past few years I think and um for like hair growth and shampooing so it's a silicone shampoo brush which helps to cleanse the scalp a little better um get all the, like the dandruff and dead scalp and all the oils a little bit better off so it helps to um stimulate as well because you're like massaging it so to stimulate the scalp as well um, and so it can help with hair growth and just help uh, scalp health in general um, and for all hair types um, luxury shampoo is a good brush the brush is ideal for hair growth and with hair with shampoo as well as repairing hair treatment the ergonomic shape enables a good grip as well as increased well-being and deep cleansing effect suitable for all hair types
Christmas or for my birthday, uh, I'd say a year or two ago, and I'm almost out of it. It's lasted me for a good bit, year or two. I can't remember when I got it. I've never bought a new one be before now, but it's lasted me a good time because I don't use skincare every night, and when I do, I feel like I don't use that much because I personally don't. <laughs> It was actually a nice surprise because I had said to my mom like, oh, I'm almost out of this, I need to buy some more, but I didn't expect her to buy it for me, so I'm not going to take it out of the box yet, but that is what it looks like and I'm really excited to use it. Then the second um, to last present that I got is something that I was not expecting. slide 
it's a Nokia phone. Um, so that screen uh, changing thing turned into a bit of a longer thing because um, the phone model was a little bit older, so we had to order the screen and it was in stores. Um, so the shipping took a little while, and then obviously he has work and stuff, so it took a while for him to put it back. He put it back. It took a while for me to get the phone into use, because I just was used to using this. And once I took it back to use, the battery ended up being dead, so that it doesn't even last more than like a couple of hours. And even when not using it, it doesn't even last a day. So the battery has died during the long period of time that I, it hasn't been used, obviously, you know, if you don't use it, it's gonna die. So this phone, I just, you know, kept it and been fine with it for, what, two years now or something. But this phone um, is from my dad's work because he gets a lot of gadgets and things from his work. And this was pre-used, so it wasn't new, which is fine by me. But the problem is, I don't know how long it's been used, um, and it's probably been used for quite a bit of years before I got it because um, it's basically falling apart. Um, like the screen is fine, but the actual phone itself, it's an old model, so first off it doesn't get much updates, so it's not really safe in a way. So it does this weird thing where it freezes and just shuts itself down and like, um, what is it? What's, what's the word? Like shuts itself down and then opens itself up again. Like, uh, turns it off and then turns it back on immediately after. Um, and that's really annoying because, you know, I never know if it's gonna like turn back on because it's like it shut, it just freezes and I'm like okay it's gonna do it again and then it just turns back it turns off but sometimes it's taken a while for it to turn back on and I've been like well what can I do and it's just been black and I'm like okay I guess but it you know usually turns back on but it's just annoying that that happens because it shouldn't be happening and sometimes it just completely and there's nothing I can do and I'm just there like okay and then it like goes into a black screen and I'm like well what can I do now and it's just I can't do anything and then it just stays like that and I'm like okay this is great did it fall apart did it break do I just you know have everything on my phone now and it's all gone because it just doesn't turn on anymore and the battery on this seems to be quite old because it Should need to get up 
had to use my mom's phone for like something, you know, she needs that help to like search up something or something. And I try and get like the different tabs up. I can't do it half the time. Like it's so annoying. And also the freaking um keyword. What is it? Oh my gosh, why am I forgetting words? Well, when you're typing, the words are so teeny tiny put together in such a small space. It's so annoying to write. So for those two reasons already, I'm like, no, I don't want an iPhone. I don't care how well it works or, you know, I don't care. And also, I've just had a couple of friends who have had iPhones. Well, lots of my friends do have iPhones, but one of my friends, um, her phone literally broke all the time. Like, the screen was so easy to break. Like, it dropped once and it was broken. And, like, they just had to continuously, like, go and fix and repair. And I was like, yeah, girl, I don't want that. My Samsung is strong as hell. Like, the screen ain't breaking nowhere except when I broke it. But that was a different story. It dropped from like a two meter height onto a concrete floor. So, what do you expect? Anyway, so, um, but I got a new phone for Christmas and I was not expecting it, but I'm very grateful for it because now I can be in peace and I don't have to worry all the time when I leave the house if my battery is gonna die or not. So, it's the Galaxy A34. Like, there's so 